The coronavirus pandemic is devastating the television and film industry worldwide. Productions have ground to a halt. Cinema releases have been postponed. Around 120,000 people have lost their jobs in Hollywood, and these are largely contract workers. Hollywood could take a $20 billion hit from this pandemic. This is according to The Hollywood Reporter. Here in the UK, the situation is equally grim. The union representing workers in the entertainment industry estimates that around 50,000 freelancers will have lost their jobs as a result of coronavirus. Most freelancers will qualify for some government support, but the union tweeted this, saying that more government support is needed in order to address the scale of hardship within the creative industries. We're pushing government Government for a new support deal. While well, the film industry is finding new ways to support its members during the lockdown, the Raindance Film Festival, the largest independent film festival here in the UK, is doing virtual screenings and online workshops. And to tell us more is the festival's founder, Elliot Grove, joining us live. Elliot, so how are you supporting people within the film industry? What are you hearing from them? Well, everyone's worried because all the productions have been cancelled and everyone's stuck at home with nothing but time, their resourcefulness and hopefully their creative energy trying to figure out how to innovate and turn what could be perceived as a tragedy, and it is a tragedy, but how to maximise any benefits that you could possibly get from that. And so what's your advice then to people who are stuck at home and they feel like, well, they've had, had a situation where they're not working and it couldn't get much bleaker? Well, I think like, no matter whether you work in the creative industries or not, I think you have to have a structure to your day, get up, brush your teeth, do something. And then this extra time that we have, if you're not at work, unlike you, um, then you can, uh, you can learn something new. You can learn a language, you can learn a skill, you could learn filmmaking and so on, screenwriting or write your novel. And that these things add structure to your day. In terms of the Raindance Film Festival, we have an awkward situation here because we're at the end of October and we're not sure yet whether or not the cinemas will be open. And if they are, social distancing, how's that going to impact uh, the physical presentation of the festival? But we've been working for a long time on this. We did the first uh, online festival probably in the world in 2006 with Tiskley, now deceased, sadly. And we we hadn't done it for about five years. And before Christmas, we we're planning an online festival before the epidemic. And we realized the festival needs to offer films, which is relatively easy to do online, as we can see right now. And with all the Netflix and Amazon and so on, movie and so on. The second thing that a festival has is learning all the panels and workshops, which we've kept going throughout the pandemic here in in uh, in London, and our students come from all over the world. But the thing that's really tricky, and the thing we're working really hard on, is how do you get that skin-on-skin -skin human contact that you and I both love when we go to a festival of any sort? That is something we're working very hard on. We're not going to be able to replicate that entirely but we think we have some new ways Elliot, of we wish you the best of luck, but we are out of time. Elliot Grove there, the founder of Raindance, and thank you for joining us here on Outside Source.